Hello everyone, here in this particular video, I'm going to explain you about how to iterate through each of the element in different dimensional arrays, right? So here I have created one array of A's for different people and the count of people which you can see over here is 8. Right, so we have eight elements. Now, let's say I want to print it something like this. Okay, my age is my age is I want to have this kind of output, but this I want to have done for each of this element. So, how can I do that? For that, we can use the for loop. If you have not seen the for loop video or if you don't know how to do that, link is given in the description section. Just check that out. Okay, for x in h we can say and then we can do, do this we can say my age is and over here what we can do is we can just put that x so what will happen is loop will happen through each of the elements and that will be printed along with this text let's check that out you see over here now each of the person are telling their age now let me just make it a little complicated i will change the dimension of this array is 2d now if you don't know how to change the dimension how to reshape an array there is another video and the link is given in the description section just check that out okay so we use reshape now because we have eight elements into this and we want to create 2d array so 2d array we want to create and in each of those elements in each of those array we want to have four elements right so let's check that out so this is how we can create and now let's check out the dimension of it 2d array is created let's check out the shape of it so this is 2 is to 4 and then let's check out the array how does it looks like <coughs> this is how it looks like now I have to do the same thing on this case in this case so we want to print each of the element in a 2d array how can we do that so for that we're gonna say for x in a is 2d and then inside that so what will happen is over here let's try to print x so you see it is simply printing printing each of the one dimensional array but we have to print each element over here so we need to do a nested loop so now this particular line is looping through each of the element in this age 2d which are two now we need to loop through each of the element in this 2d array okay how can we do that so we're gonna write another for loop over here so we would say for y in x because x has already been iterated so all that we need to do over here is we need to iterate through the elements in x and then you just do the printing over here you can simply say my age is right and over here you can just print y now if you see each of these things are done printed now let me make it more complicated what if you have 3d array so for that first you need to convert it into 3d i mean i don't have I don't already have a 3d array so what i'll do is i'll just simply convert it over here is dot reshape and in this because in my base array this one i have eight elements right so i will make a group of two elements each right so two 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 now again like i said that if you don't know how to reshape it there is another video please check that out okay now let's check the dimension of this particular array which we do using this so this is a three-dimensional array now let's check out the shape so this is the shape now let's let me just show it how does it look like when we convert it so this is how it is looking like now we have to loop through each of this element right so if i do this particular thing let me just copy it from here and let me just do over here and here instead of age 2d i will just change it to age 3d array and now if you print it is looking something like this while we need to say my age is 33 so what we're gonna do what is the option 
so for that we gonna again create another loop inside y so previously we looped through is 2d and we printed x now in this line we looped through each element in x now we will look through each element in y so for that we're gonna say for z in y and then you can just print this at the end z now here you got that right if you see over here each of the elements are printed as we were expecting so this is how you can loop through each of the element in different dimension i just hope that it was simple and easy to understand for you thank you very much for watching the video wish you good luck